Hey everybody, here we have this Lobo laptop for service. The reason why it's here is because the owner of this machine has been getting some pop-ups about antivirus expiration for antivirus programs he knows he didn't install. So the thing is, right now, I just started it up. It's not hooked up to the internet at all. And there's no pop-ups at all. Now I got Notepad pulled up and got maximized because this guy has a ton of stuff right on his desktop and I don't want to show any of his files or anything on the video. But one thing I've noticed right away is he was definitely getting a pop-up for, uh, I think it was McAfee, or McAfee, however you want to call it. Um, but when I go into his uh, programs and features, do not see McAfee anywhere in here. Although he has a whole bunch of uh, things installed on this thing. He uses this thing for, I forget what exactly, but um, there's some software in here that I am not the most familiar with. And I question that maybe when he installed something, it probably wanted to bundle a bunch of stuff in the background. You know, these shady... Um, Freeware installers, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, those kinds of installers that want to have you install some random toolbar or just whatever. So, as I mentioned, right now it's not on the internet. I'm going to actually hook it into the uh, internet and let's see what happens here. See if we suddenly start getting these pop ups. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice machine. It's not that old, actually. Here we are. See, as soon as I plugged into the internet, we're getting this right here. And this clearly looks like a Chrome or Edge notification. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get Malwarebytes put on here and let it do a scan. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So this is obviously a fake pop-up. So the thing, the reason why I thought it was McAfee was because it mentioned WebAdvisor, which that is a product that McAfee either still run, uh, still offers or did offer. And you can see right here this spot mmy.co.in. Well, India, that's like the scam capital of the, of the world, right? <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get uh, Malwarebytes installed on here and let it do a scan. Okay, in just a very short amount of time that I stopped the camera, this thing continues to pop up these fake virus notifications. And for example, his notifications here. There's just so many of them. One after the other. And again, obviously we can tell this is fake. Okay, so right now I'm in the process of installing malware bytes on here. And I should note, this computer is actually new enough that it meets the Microsoft Elite class Minnesota requirements on Windows 11. But you can see this user has clearly chosen to stick with Windows 10. And I don't blame him. Okay, so we have completed installation. And we'll let this come up. Alright, so if you've never installed Malwarebytes before, just FYI, when you install it, it automatically installs as a premium trial. And if you're servicing someone's computer and you do leave Malwarebytes on here, I would suggest ending the premium trial early. That way your customer does not get nagged to buy something they may not necessarily need to buy. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to scan. and let it do its thing. Okay, so Malwarebytes actually did not detect anything, so what I think could be going on is this could be a rogue extension installed in Microsoft Edge. Okay, so I've downloaded a different product known as ADW Cleaner. It's also from Malwarebytes and it is another um, utility that I sometimes use when malware bytes does not detect anything. Okay, here we are. So this is malware bytes ADW cleaner. 
Let me zoom in just a little bit there, that way you can see it's a little better. Alright, so you just agree to the terms. This is a free download. And what we'll do is we're going to do a scan. And this, you can see we've already detected um, several different things. A lot of pups on here. That's what I was suspecting is that we had a bunch of pups on here. So we're going to go ahead and you see they're already selected, so we're going to select next. And it says pre install software was found. It says pre install software is software that typically comes preloaded on a new computer separate from the operating system. Let's go ahead and uncheck that. Let's say OK. So we are not going to uninstall these um, pre installed utilities. Like, for example, this one here is for his HP printer. And these are pre-installed applications for this Lenovo machine. We're still running on a... I'm assuming we're still running on the factory Lenovo uh, Windows 10 installation. So we're going to leave these unchecked, but we are going to have the pups selected. And we'll go ahead and continue with this. Alright, so if we view our log file you can see that the software deleted several registry keys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart his computer and then um, I'll just see if anything comes back. I'll launch Edge and see if anything comes back. The thing is sometimes if pups get installed through a rogue extension they have a tendency to keep popping back up and this is something that Google Chrome is very badly notorious for with its um, sync. Because the thing is when you have everything synced uh, you could have perhaps a rogue extension on your sync profile in the Google Cloud yet you go to disinfect the machine the pump gets removed from the machine, but then next time Chrome goes to sync, it will re-download the rogue extension or pup from the Google Sync Cloud, and <laughs> next thing you know, it's right back again. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and restart this thing, and I'll launch Edge, and we'll see if this thing reappears. Okay, so I restarted the system, and we're still getting the uh, notifications, so... What I did is I ran ADW Cleaner for a second time and it did not pick up any um, pups or adware on the second run. So it's just, I think what's going on is there's still, of course, old cookies and site permissions in Edge that are allowing these notifications to continue to run. So the first thing I have done is I have went into site permissions and you can see recent activity and there is the rogue website this spot mmy.co.india I have blocked notifications so that will immediately stop the notifications from popping up on the system but also I'm going into of course cookies and I'm going to go to manage cookies on this machine see all cookies and site data and if I search for spot MMY. Let's go ahead and delete the cookies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the system, um, bring up Edge again, and let's see if this website is continuing to store cookies on this machine. Okay, so we just restarted the system, and of course, I should also mention I turned on focus assist to stop it from making the annoying little sound every time you get a notification. And so far, we have not gotten any new notifications. Now, let's go ahead and launch Edge. Now, of course, I'm going to not show part of this because I don't want to reveal his information. Okay, so we're back in settings in Microsoft Edge on the Cookies and Site Permissions tab. And, of course, we can see that's still there but that doesn't mean much anything that was just from earlier but if we go to manage cookies and this time if I look for it you 
can see no cookies found under that uh, website so I think we might be good to go um, it was a matter of getting those pups off of there as well as deleting the cookies for that malicious website so I think now we are actually good to go on this thing so it was a combination of using ADW cleaner ultimately to remove the pups and adware that's crazy um, malware by does not pick up on that you have to use ADW cleaner to actually pick up on that kind of stuff but it removed it and then we had to go in and clear out the cookies for that rogue website and turn off notifications and it, even if I didn't turn off notifications now that we've cleared the cookies out I think it would have stopped anyway but anyways there you have it so that wraps up for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching hey everybody thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo channel if this is your first time please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video posts Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel, that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.